we have to find ways, fun ways, to encourage teachers to use technology as a tool in their classroom. So one of those ways is with the top six. The Office of Instructional Technology is really trying to inspire teachers to infuse technology in the classroom. All teachers have state standards and they're supposed to be proficient in technology. And so we wanna make sure we support that. The top six are six really strong apps that allow students to be able to communicate, collaborate, be creative, and do critical thinking. We deal with data daily, a lot of it. We grade student assessments, we survey parents and students and even other teachers. We collect parent contact information, student contact information, and even organize parent conference times. It's a lot to deal with. We'll use Google Forms and it can collect all this information for you and organize it beautifully in a spreadsheet, just with a few clicks of a mouse. What's nice is you can also use add-ons like Formula, Flubaroo, and Choice Eliminator. You will love it and it will save you a ton of time. A picture is worth a thousand words. Imagine Google Drawings giving you an open canvas to help your students create a visual representation of what they have learned. Google Drawings can be an assignment for an electronic poster, thinking maps, graphic organizers, even labeling and identifying with vocabulary different images. Google Drawings is a collaborative tool and can be inserted into Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. We're talking about a new future for our students. And through the use of a smart board, teachers are able to create lessons that incorporate the content that they are teaching, but those lessons, because of technology, are engaging and they're fun to use. And that's what we want for our students. We teach new apps, new tools every year. And there's none more important in terms of being used in the classroom as is the smart board. One of the really nice things about WeVideo too is that it's integrated with Google. So you don't have to have a separate login. You just go to WeVideo.com and click on Login with Google. And because of our Google District account that we have, uh, it logs you right in. And all of your videos are saved in your Google Drive. So WeVideo really is a fun tool that teachers can use in their classrooms to expose their students to this digital world that we live in. So to create a Wordle, you'll use Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox or even a Safari browser will work. You'll go to www.wordle.net. Whatever text you've put in the box is going to show up visually as a non-linguistic representation of the text that you put in originally. From there you can change the colors, the layout, and that can represent any content. Skype for Business is an integration tool, um, it's a sharing tool, it's a collaboration tool, and it's also a growth mindset connecting anywhere around the world. Teachers and staff are embracing Skype as a tool essential to any classroom in the 21st century. Don't forget the original top six apps. You will still find the original top six apps integrated into the district's curriculum as well as the new top six. Technology-infused content motivates students to learn. My students each day would log into the Google Classroom to view their assignments, and they were especially eager to practice Quizlet because it offered many tools for them to master vocabulary. Our website, www.ccisd.it, has many great resources for you. The top six is not limited. We hope that this just inspires teachers to go out there and look for other apps that are similar or, or like it or, or different but really to give the opportunity to students to be creative, to be collaborative, to communicate with other students across the district, across the United States, across the globe even. The top six is just a way to inspire our teachers in CCISD to make sure that they're partnering technology with the content and with the pedagogy to have successful students.